So they put this focus on hot swappable. Did I mention it was hot swappable? If you did a tiny bit of market research, sorry, that might've been mean. When we go on Instagram or we're scrolling through forums and we're like, oh wow. So a lot of what we're doing is marketing. <clears throat> Howdy, hey, marketing major hippio tech here. And today we're gonna be looking at a different type of keyboard. This is not a keyboard made for enthusiasts. I'll say that right off the bat. So I'm gonna be mean, but most of this is not deserved. 100 Thieves is an esports organization and hoodie company, I guess. And they acquired the company High Ground, which makes peripherals. They sent me their keyboard and I'm gonna give it an honest look. <laughs> but before I unbox this keyboard, let's check out some of the promo materials they did with 100 Thieves. High Ground is a premium gaming hardware okay. and lifestyle Hold brand. up. Bruh, bruh. Premium. We're gonna put that one to the test. It's hot swappable. It's got an orange silicone dampening foam, which I, I'm pretty positive that that's not stock with a lot of the keyboards that you can buy on the market. It's orange. You did it. Did I mention it was hot swappable? I'm gonna it's say the it again. first thing you said. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again because that's really cool. You can switch out the switches, give whatever sound and feel that you want. So they put this focus on hot swappable. Did I mention it was hot swappable? Did I mention it was orange? Which I think is great. Good job, you made it hot swappable. Which not, that can't be said about every keyboard. PewDiePie's wasn't hot swappable, PewDiePie sucked. However, if you did a tiny bit of market research, you would know. Just a, uh, sorry, that might've been mean. If you did, if you watched one of my YouTube videos, you would know that north facing LEDs, you don't want those in your hot swap keyboards. I give a slight pass in this case, simply because your keyboard already comes with cool keycaps. So the issue of interference from Cherry Profile keycaps isn't that big of a thing, but it just shows that like you didn't quite do your homework. When we look at the products that are available in the marketplace, this is not all for show. We want to make incredible products that are really well engineered. So remember that, incredibly high engineered product. These are engineered. Engineer. This isn't an OEM rebranded keyboard. This is engineered. Engineer. And then give that to the masses. When we go on Instagram or we're scrolling through forums and we're like, oh wow, like this keyboard is beautiful. The sound they were able to create. We see that, but we weren't able to do that before. I, I could have paused it there and said, we see that, but we weren't able Bro. to do that. That would have been too mean. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Or at least it would have taken us a long time until 100 Thieves is hell. Let's just take a look at the keyboard as it is. I won't be too mean. Let's get into it. So without further ado, let's take a look at this keyboard proper. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for free by High Ground, uh, but they didn't pay me for this review. I'm not an affiliate with them. So these are just honest thoughts. I mean, they would be honest thoughts anyways, but you get the point. So this keyboard was a limited time drop and it was $135 and sold out in roughly four minutes. Now, no matter what you say, that's impressive. They sold out real fast. And the hype behind this board is no joke as well. These are reselling for $235 or so on eBay. Now, the high ground branding, love it or hate it, it's gamery. That's, it is what it is. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm a marketing major, but you know what? My school didn't teach me how to name light modes. Uh, <laughs> raindrop. <laughs> Where's the drop top one? It also comes with a custom branded high ground keycap puller and then a normal boring switch puller. But take notes, high ground. Customize one of these instead. These are way better for switch and keycap pulling, in my opinion. And sadly, just a normal USB-C cable. I mean, seeing Keychron do custom coiled cables and cool braided cables in their boards, this was a little bit lame. But taking a look at the board itself, you can see the custom 100 Thieves keycaps. Now, these sold separately for $50 but they sold out instantly as well and are reselling for upwards of $200 for just the keycaps. Like what's going on? Now, when I was a kid, I was pretty big into esports. I even went to a League of Legends tournament in LA, but now I don't follow esports that much. So I'm not that big on 100 Thieves or what the brands are, but maybe I need to get back into that. These keycaps are interesting and I'm a little bit conflicted on them. The print is pretty good quality and the high ground logo is pretty neat. However, if you look at that Efro, what were they thinking? I don't know. I'd, they've got a very nice aesthetic everywhere else, and then the Efro is kind of just chaos. It's a bit weird, like one exclamation point, F1. What? But I digress. This is a 65% layout, and it covers most of what you'd need if you're a gamer. Although, when I game, I like to have a dedicated Efro rather than merging them with the Numro, but whatever. 
It keeps your arrow keys, and that's really about all most people care about. Now, overall, this is a decent looking keyboard. However, it's not that unique in the actual chassis of the board. Flipping it over, it appears to be a rebranded OEM keyboard of some type, and somebody else can do the research as to what exactly it is, but it reminds me of a Gamma K GK68. I would say it's definitely not custom engineered. Well engineered. But you know what? If you guys have CAD designs and you did it yourself, prove me wrong. I'd say allegedly it's rebranded. But this board comes with Gateron Reds, which are decent. However, not the best Gateron switch you could have thrown in there. And this silicone dampeny bit, which we'll talk about more later. Now, I need a little bit of help with this one. It's hot swappable. Ah, right, it's hot swappable. Did I mention that already? And here's where I, you know, I already ranted about the north facing LEDs earlier, but there you go, it's north facing LEDs. I mean, they customized the PCB enough to get it orange. Did I mention it's orange? They could have just made it south facing LEDs. Now, I went into a little bit of a research fit on my stream when I was taking a look at this keyboard because I recognize these keycaps from somewhere, but I don't remember where. Somebody please help me. What is this mold? I know they're really cheap die sub keycaps, but I cannot figure out where the OEM is for these. Somebody help me if you know, comment down below. Now, I'm not going to be too angry with these as they sold them for $50. Like, it's a $50 keycap set. They're not trying to be premium. They're not trying to be GMK. They look fine. They work as keycaps. The printing on them is decent enough. There's no big flaws. Like, I think they did a good job here, and this is definitely the unique part of the board. If you like this design, that's fantastic. Check out some of their other designs. They'll have cool other designs like this. Sorry, random Frank P. The topographical thing, I guess, is, you know, public domain. But I'd say overall, if I was 13, this would look really cool. But okay, I mean, it still looks kind of cool. Also, it's got full RGB and all of those customizable modes that I mentioned earlier. I didn't play around much with the software, but I imagine it's fine. And here's where you're probably expecting me to take a dump on this board, but I gotta say, it's fine. It's fine. A lot of enthusiasts have torn them a new one for this, and you know what? They kind of deserve it. I mean, for $135, as a consumer, you could do a lot better with your money. However, they're selling you a brand, remember? So a lot of what we're doing is marketing. So in this case, you're paying for the 100 Thieves name and branding, which I think is cool and unique enough to warrant that price tag. However, this isn't like a get out of jail free card and they definitely could do better marketing themselves as a premium brand. My stock experience with this board out of the box is a lot better than other brands. And to be honest, it's better than Razer, it's better than Corsair have given me, but it's still not premium. The switches were fine. They weren't overly pingy. The keycaps were fine. They didn't leave anything crazy to be desired, but the build overall just ended up sounding clacky and really not that unique. Now, I know plastic boards can sound good. Look at the Novel Keys NK65. You can get pretty crazy. In this case, I'm gonna be foam modding it and tape modding it to see how good I can make it. However, this didn't come standard. And I will say, if you're marketing a premium board and your case is incredibly empty and hollow, it's a little bit of an oof. Look how easy it was for me to put foam in here. You could have done that. This maybe cost me like, I don't know, this this was on my floor under my bed, like this was free. Okay, now I don't expect manufacturers to start tape modding their PCBs as that's probably a bad idea. But you know, th we're gonna do it anyways. This is just something I wanted to do. For those of you that are new to keyboards and wondering what the heck is going on, then check out my video on the top right for my info on the tape mod. Essentially, wacky keyboard people put three layers of tape on their PCB because it makes it sound better. I, d I you know, it makes it sound better. That's all I got. So that's what we've done. I'll give it to them that this case was pretty easy to open and close. You know, I wasn't worried about breaking any USB connections or anything like that. So that was good. However, there was no Bluetooth and their other boards include Bluetooth. And the case is exactly the same as their other boards. I was a little bit confused. Yo, but look at this flex that I got out of it. That's kind of nice though. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of nice. Okay, but now we have to figure out, will this keyboard make me a better gamer as it's got pro gamer branding on it? I think you already know the answer to this one, but I'll give you 20 seconds of my time. <laughs> I am so bad. I am so bad. Oh, that's all we need. Okay, so it won't make you worse at gaming, but it probably won't make you better. But, you know, it's a keyboard. Now, I do believe High Ground has potential to make good keyboards. They've got a lot of money behind them. 
With that money, I think they have potential to make unique keyboards that have that quality engineering put into it. They definitely tried, and I'm excited to see what they've got in the future. If you're excited for what I have in the future, then hit that subscribe button as YouTube might have unsubscribed you. If you'd like to support me, then please check out my music down in the description, or hit that join button to be a member of the Watering Hole Gang. These Watering Hole Gang people help support every video that I create. Thank you so much to all of those people. Anyways, I'll be leaving you with the sound test. Please watch that whole thing.